Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Rockingham Speedway for the Toe Cap 400. It's been two weeks since we had a race, but today this race is special because tonight we're racing at the historic Rockingham Speedway, which hasn't held a race since 2013 with the NASCAR Truck Series. With that out of the way, let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Bobby Swift in his first pole award after starting twice against the previous pole winners. And starting in second is Chase Bracelot trying to bring his team and boss to victory lane since June of 2024. In row two, Cal Weathers with a lone unexpected win at Pocono and the current points leader, Lightning McQueen. In row three, Ryan Laney and last race winner, Cruz Ramirez, which knocked Ryan Laney out of the playoff standing due to him lacking the stats that he wants. In row 4, Daniel Suarez and Colin Bargain, one of the racers of the 2024 rookie class. In row 5, Master Dragon 4000, also part of the 2024 rookie class. And two-time intermediate track winner, Bubba Wheelhouse. In row 6, H.J. Hollis and J.D. McFiller. In row 7, Brandon Powercar, the most desperate rookie in the field, trying to beat Master Dragon 4000 and his friend Colin Bargain. And starting in 14th is Brian Spark. And starting in row 8 are Jackson Storm and Phil Tankson. Here's the race format. 20 laps, 20.34 miles around the 1.017 mile track. And pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. Pace car makes a hard left turn to the pits and here we go finally two weeks of waiting and 20 years of waiting for a proper cup race at the rock. The green flag is in the air here at Rockingham Speedway. Here comes Bobby Swift to from the inside, taking the lead away from Chase Race a lot. Cal Wetters is giving him a little draft bump. Now Bobby Swift is pulling away against the 24 of Chase Race a lot and the 42 of Cal Weathers. Bobby Swift leads the first lap of the Toe Cap 400. And here we have a battle for second place Chase Race a lot versus Cal Weathers. Now it's going to be a battle for third. Oh, well, never mind. Bobby Swift still dominating this race early. And he's going to lead the first two laps of the Toe Cap 400. This track is pretty tire hungry, so if you keep running on the track without pitting, your tire will blow out and you'll slam the wall. Well, this track has another safer barrier issue. In the outside wall, you don't see any safer barriers, it's just all concrete. Ramirez trying to pass her teammate Lightning McQueen and here's Bobby Swift leading the third lap and now we're in lap four. Hmm, Bobby Swift is trying to prepare for the playoffs. And here's an onboard with Cal Weathers. And here's Bobby Swift. Here's a battle for second place, and here's a look at the playoff bubble. Chase Race Lot is trying to maintain seventh place, so Cal Wetters won't knock him out. And don't forget to like and subscribe because that little playoff bubble of a scene was pretty hard to make, including this entire scoring board. Here's a battle for ninth, ninth or eighth place Daniel Suarez versus Colin Bargain, including Brandon Power Car. 
and Shayholis is the only one going from the outside and Storm to the inside. Chase Bracelaw is trying to make it 2x2 two two with the Cal Weathers. Bobby Swift has led the first six laps of the Tocap 400. Not that much passing. This year has not been nice with the, with the racing package with, with these cars. Just making huge gaps. Bubba Wheelhouse is all the way in dead last. He is mostly an expert in these one mile tracks. He won at Darlington and Nashville Super Speedway. Here's Master Dragon 4000 trying to battle out Cruz Ramirez. Those two only have one win. They're trying to stay alive from the playoffs because if they drop all the way down, they'll be free falling. Not knowing if they would stay in the playoffs or be out. Here's a battle for 15th place. Brian Spark versus Bubble Wheelhouse. Bubble Wheelhouse trying to send Brian Spark to the back so he'll be able to keep him keep him away from the playoffs or instead is just Brian Spark with the terrible equipment Bobby Swift is flying out there and Bobby Swift is gonna lead lap 9 and now we enter lap 10 now get ready for the halfway jam Alright, that is your halfway jam. Here we are looking at Master Dragon 4000. Now we're looking at Bobby Swift. Here we go with nine laps to go. Bobby Swift still dominating this race. He led half of it. Is anybody going to pass the number 19? Well, I heard that in the radios that they're going to they're going to do a pit stop. Well, most of the cars are going to have to take a pit stop because this, because the tires are wearing down easily. And also the fuel is depleting. Here's Master Dragon 4000 trying to stay alive and stay relevant to the entire pack. And he's in 5th place. An impressive run for the number 41. He hasn't won since Atlanta Motor Speedway in February. 8 laps to go here at Rockingham Speedway. Bobby Swift in the Thunder Valley backstretch. Now in turn 3. Getting ready for the pit, for the pit stop. Within a few laps, they say that they're gonna pit within six laps to go. I'm not sure if that's a good idea pitting with six laps to go because there's a chance that there's one car with better tires or more fuel before the race started that they could pass everybody and win. But that's not gonna work because the Piston Cup officials make sure that the tires uh, are gonna wear down even though they have the best car and also the fuel um, the deteriorates. Now here we go. Bobby Swift to the pits with that 45 mile per hour speed limit. He's gonna have to go all the way to his pit box which is all the way to the end of pit road. And Jay McPillar, shades of strip weathers, he's gonna take the lead. Well that's not gonna last long because he's gonna have to pit. Here's Bobby Swift in the right trying to go to his pit box and he's gonna take four tires and and two cans of fuel along with Chase Race Slut behind him. Yep, JD McPillar admitted defeat. He's gonna head to the pits. And Bobby Swift has a timing of 15.50 the pits while Jay McPhillip is entering the pits with that 45 mile per hour speed limit. Now he's gonna get all four light years and some dynamical fuel. 
Now Bobby Swift is a lap down. He's going to have to get that lap away from Jay McPillar and also take the lead back. And Jay McPillar has a has a pit time of 15.37 seconds. Here's Cal Wetters staying alive against Cruz Ramirez in the back straightaway. Battle for second place, Cal Wetters versus Cruz Ramirez side by side. Now Cruz Ramirez takes second place away from her teammate. Now here we go with four laps to go here at Rockingham Speedway. Cruz Ramirez trying to catch up to the number 19, trying to get trying to go back to back from Indianapolis and Rockingham Speedway. Bobby Swift hasn't won since March at Bristol Motor Speedway. So it's like about almost six months ago. You have one. Three laps to go here at Rockingham Speedway. Bobby Swift still in the lead. No, nobody doesn't even want to pass. Either this car is terrible or maybe Bobby Swift is too good for this track. Here's Cruz Ramirez trying to get her second win so she'll be able to stay away from the free falling of the playoffs. Two laps to go here at Rockingham Speedway. Bobby Swift trying to get his third win of the 2024 season. Brian Spark is doing horrendously right now. He's going to be 11th away from the cutoff line. And Master Dragon 4000 is going to try and get a bit higher, but not too high against Cruz Ramirez because Cruz Ramirez is in the highest spot, which is away from the two-time winners. White flag, one more time around here at Rockingham Speedway. Bobby Swift still in the lead. Cruz Ramirez a few seconds away. We're going to go through the Thunder Valley backstretch for the final time. Now, coming out of turn number three and entering turn four for the final time. Bobby Swift gets his third win of the 2024 season. Bruce Ramirez second, third Cal Weathers, fourth Master Dragon 4000, and tenth Colin Bargain. Congratulations to Bobby Swift winning the 2024 Tocap 400 here at Rockingham Speedway. Here are the official results. Cal Weathers is the fastest car of the day. Next week, we're racing at Michigan International Speedway for the Shiny Wax 400 starting Wednesday, August 14th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern and 3.30 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for not posting a video in over two weeks because I was taking a break, so I'll try to do better. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat 27 signing out.